Alright, what is up everyone? OJ over here from Player Essence and welcome to another PE Live. We have a great show for you guys today because we're going to be discussing quite a number of uh, interesting topics or actually one really big interesting topic and then we'll have some other things that we'll be discussing. You guys can give me some topics that you guys want to talk about as well. Uh, but there was a number of things that went down. Uh, there was a bunch of news to cover. There was actually so much news to cover for today and tomorrow. I actually did three videos for today. So you guys got three videos already for today. And then I actually even did another video for tomorrow morning. That's how much news there is to cover. That's how much stuff is happening. And there's still plenty more stuff to cover. So it's going to be pretty packed for the uh, midweek and then second half of the week. There's a lot of different news. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. Um, I just talked about Tingle and I don't think anybody cared because nobody's watching the video. But anyway, <laughs> I just got done talking about Tingle because I'm like, I'm not going to dedicate like I'm not going to put that inside a PE news video. So I'll just do a separate video on the fact that Nintendo almost made a horror Tingle game. So that's interesting. If you guys want to check out that video, that's already up on the channel. We had uh, Dragon Ball uh, Fighters open beta for the Nintendo Switch. That's uh, that's a thing that's going to be happening. Uh, we've got uh, Octopath Sales. Uh, which we can talk about. You guys will probably ask me questions about that. We can discuss that as well in the Q&A uh, portion. Uh, we've got Digimon announced for the Nintendo Switch as well. Pretty big there. Uh, just a lot of stuff going down tomorrow morning. More big news with Unreal Engine 4, potential ports of other games. So just a lot of stuff happening. I still need to get to the whole um, Xbox could be shown off at Gamescom. The next Xbox could be shown off at Gamescom. Um, crazy stuff going on here. So shout outs to Pip. Gutierrez, hitting us with that subscription. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everyone in the chat, please welcome Pip to the village. Um, if you've got those headband emails, please spam it for my boy. Although I don't see a ton of my sponsors here. So um, there's a couple of you guys here. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into shout outs if you're new to the channel. Um, I like to give people shout outs at the very beginning. If you put a comment, hey OJ, how's it going? Whatever, I will give you a shout out and say what's up. So let's go ahead and get through this, guys, so we can get into the core content. Looking for a little bit of a shorter show today. Um, because I will be um, streaming Octopath Traveler when I get back from the gym. Your boy has to go train to get that uh, one for all tonight, and then I'll be back later tonight for a late night stream of Octopath Traveler. Won't go past 12.30, though, a.m. my time, so it's not going to be like if I get back like at 11 or 10.30, it'll be only till about 12.30. It's like I go to sleep, got to wake up tomorrow morning and work more for you guys. I've been working 11-hour days for the past two days, and I got to keep that going because there's a lot of news. I'm a one-man team, so, um, so yeah, a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, so yeah, so look forward to the Octopath Traveler uh, live stream later tonight if you're down for that. We also have an Octopath Traveler giveaway as well for anyone who's new to the channel. Check out the link in the description below. You'll see the Octopath Traveler giveaway. Go ahead and get as many entries as you need to get in to enter into that because that's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, we want to win a digital copy of Octopath Traveler. And we will be having pretty much monthly giveaways from now on. Once one giveaway ends, the next giveaway will start up as well. So there you go, guys. A lot of good stuff happening uh, right here. So let your friends know. Let your buddies know about player essence so we can kind of get some more ninja into the village here so it looks like it's working though i think we had a twitch uh follow too so let's go and get that shout out for that twitch follow real quick before we get into the shout outs for everyone here in the chat um all right so is it vantapip Val valiant pip valiant pip valiant pip shout out to valiant pip i think it's the same guy shout out man thank you so much welcome to the uh fire nation over there on twitch i do appreciate you hit us with that follow over there on twitch with those katones and those jutsus thanks you thank you homie um also shout out to iq with the pledge of one dollar via patreon uh it was eight hours ago so it was off stream so shout out to you man thank you so much i do appreciate that one dollar pledge via patreon as well um all right so let's go ahead and get into the shout outs here guys um if you said something go ahead and just retype it because i'm going all the way down so shout out to boy z Buruto greatness Shout out to Elite Ninja Rufus. What's good, man? Dragon Lady uh, Gaming UK. What's up? How's it going? Shout out to Dank Meme Center. How's it going? Alonzo Vines. What's good? I'm a FNT Rex. What's up, man? El Trooper Cabo, the legend. Also, the Joan In. What's up, my guy? How's it going, Elite Ninja? Alonzo Vines. What's good? Sock on 10. What is good? No, no. What is up, man? Dank Meme Center. What's good? Um, Amiibo fan. Shout out to Elite Ninja Amiibo fan. How's it going? Michael O'Brien. How's it going, man? um yeah we actually have another nintendo direct rumor I'm, I'm gonna be doing a video on that tomorrow so <laughs> yeah it's all sorts of stuff going on party man uh what's up elite ninja party man how's it going m y or mty 1983 what's good man uh block holds place what's good man how's it going uh jetty plus what is good tuna hunter what is up man um snow bunny 426 what is good um let's see here focus on me <laughs> all right it's all good all good snow bunny focus on me what's up man uh, i'm doing good man how are you j2 blue what's good homie t dude what's up t dude David Guido Gaming, what's good, man? Shout outs to no more Ipsters. Shout outs to Elite Ninja Ipsters. Let's go. We got a high ranking, high ranking uh, um, Elite Ninja right over here. Sponsor for seven months. Shout outs to Ipsters. Do appreciate the sponsorship, homie. Do appreciate that. El Chupacabra, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. How are you? 
Uh, Party Man, shout out to the Ninja Party Man once again. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Kevin Direct, uh, Kevin Direct, uh, Kevin Rivera says new Nintendo, uh, new Direct rumors. Yeah, I'll be talking about tomorrow. Something big. It's probably fake, but yeah, I'll be talking about it tomorrow. So don't don't break your back over it. Don't go searching out information if it's nothing big. It's nothing that that's like oh my gosh, this is so credible or anything like that. So uh, I wouldn't worry about it. If you want to just watch my video tomorrow, you can watch it or whatever, <laughs> or you can skip it. It's, it's up to you. Um, Snake Eater is good. Snake Eater is good. Uh, not, what's up, nothing? How's it going, man? Uh, we will be talking about, uh, we will be talking, um, Q&A. That is at the end, guys. Just for those who are new, nothing. Um, hold on to your questions till the very end. Then I'll start answering questions. If I start answering your question right now, dude, then everyone's gonna just, gonna just start answering or asking questions. And I won't be able to get through the topic. So, uh, hold on to your question, dude. We'll get to that in just a bit. What's up, G5? How's it going, man? Um, how's it going, dude? Uh, Team Alkaline, what's good, man? How's it going? Um um yeah yeah actually ipsters there is ipsters do you notice like look at look at your uh, and i'll get to that donation in just a bit uh ipsters look at your icon right there and hover over it i, I don't know if you're watching on mobile then you can't but see how you have a man Shiringan icon that's red now if you go a little bit above and look at amiibo fans icon if you look at amiibo fans icon it's just a headband so as you sponsor for the longer the months it it changes the icon so i do have a special icon for one year but nobody has that yet because this this program hasn't been implemented for one year yet at least for me i haven't been able to implement it for one year so look for it i mean if you're still a sponsor but then you 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 will have a new icon at one year so shout outs dude um all right so shout outs to amiibo fan with the two dollar donation first donation of the day thank you so much i do appreciate that amiibo fan and they say uh play pokin tournament uh Tellular town all right no problem man let's go and get that done for you um uh, poke in and then we'll get into my shout outs or we'll finish up shout outs uh poke in tournament uh, oh hold up i'm typing it into the search i'm typing it into my address bar instead of the search for youtube all right it's a pretty good day today guys I, like i said it was pretty good it was packed full of news there's a lot of good, good stuff going on um i actually enjoyed today i got to take a nap because i worked so much in the morning i woke up early and i worked so much in the morning i actually got to take a nice nap i didn't go to the gym though i wanted to go to the gym earlier but did it so now i have to go to the gym at night um all right so let's go ahead and get this music going here How's that sound, guys? That good? All right. Um, a direct is likely during the Tokyo Game Show time. Um, yeah, that could be a September if you're going off of last year. Boruto greatness, yeah. All right. Um, so I think we're going to go in and get into the first content here. So, guys, so the other day, um, I watched a video from a very popular mainstream YouTuber named Ghost Robo. Now, Ghost Robo is an interesting um, individual because... He started YouTube when he was very young. I think when he was like 13 years old, okay? So he's literally essentially grown up with YouTube and has gotten great success. Um, so he's very, he's still very young. Um, he's only like 21 or 22, something like that. He's still very young and he has a, he's a very successful, you know, young YouTuber. And I respect him. I respect him, you know, no matter what. And uh, this is not to knock him. I think he actually brought up some good points in his video that he did talk about forced Nintendo Switch positivity. Now, if you don't know, also... Ghost Robo also runs the highly successful Nintendo Switch channel called Switch Force with his friend Gabe. Um, and I think his brother helps out too. I'm not sure if his brother's still there or not. But anyway, I know his brother used to help out as well. So Ghost Robo is a guy that's been around for a while. He knows how to run channels. I mean, the guy didn't cover Nintendo, you know, last generation. It wasn't until the Switch came out that he started covering um, Nintendo and made a successful channel, Switch Force, which has, I think, over 200,000 subscribers. Yeah, it has over 200,000 subscribers. So, very good channel, um, very, I mean, he knows what he's doing, obviously, he knows how to play the YouTube game very well, um, and he made a video the other day that I thought was interesting, I thought I'd talk about it, and he's talking about, uh, forced switch positivity, to where I think he's probably alluding to people in the comment section, and, uh, people talking about how, like, anytime somebody says something negative about Switch, or anytime somebody says something bad or whatever, there's people that kind of gang up, or kind of say, no, this is the way it's supposed to be, and blah, 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 and, I 100% agree in one sense. I see it both sides in terms of what he's trying to say. Um, I understand it. You know, I understand that like anytime somebody says something negative, there's people rushing to say something positive. But I think that's pretty much with any system. I think that that's with PS4. 
that's with xbox one and i think the biggest difference with this whole like switch positivity thing compared to it it's that we just got out of the great depression imagine it guys like imagine you guys know like in american history the great depression right uh which caused a lot of uh heartache stock market crashing all that stuff caused a great depression and all that you know and people were living in shambles you know it was a very very sad time full of bad things now i don't want to compare what happened to the wii u to something as bad in real life as the great depression but i'm just saying just give me a second here guys i'm saying that the wii u was essentially the great depression for nintendo you know profits weren't there um customers weren't buying the games obviously just the wii u the, the 3ds was doing very well right the 3ds was doing very well um so i think that because of that negativity because of everybody that was so upset because of all of the bad things that happened during the wii u era when you get the switch it's like going from eating a good meal every single like half a year to eating good meals pretty much every single month and multiple good meals you know that's essentially what it's going from so when somebody when somebody starts complaining or starts whining about trivial things when it comes to the switch there's always going to be people rushing in because there's a lot of people who remember the wii u days the wii u i mean and we talk about this all the time on this channel the wii u days were horrible when it comes to it not just from a standpoint of what customers thought of the system but from a marketing standpoint from a sales standpoint from an everything standpoint nintendo couldn't escape negativity even when they drop good games even when there's good games like Pokemon tournament or when there's good games like bayonetta 2 or super smash brothers or whatever there's always something that's pulling it the other direction always every single time nintendo couldn't escape doomed articles i i kid you not guys there was a nintendo is doomed wii u is doomed doom this doom that literally every single day and this is coming from somebody who covered the wii u from day one i did not skip a beat on the wii u i covered it from day one every single day there was a doomed article it felt like that nobody could just enjoy the system even when there was good games dropping like in 2014 now don't get me wrong wii u had its highlights right like e3 2014 was phenomenal that was probably one of the best e3s that i've ever watched nintendo put on a fantastic show they had a lot of games they talked about uh they talked about zelda they showed off that they talked about um they had like a little behind the uh, closed door for Star Fox. They had Bayonetta 2. They shot off a new trailer for Xenoblade. Like it was just great. I mean, I think that was the first time that we saw uh, Captain Toad. Yeah, Captain Toad first time there. There was all sorts of great stuff, man. There was all sorts of great stuff. And to go just from such a... Uh, I mean, look guys, like you go from 13 million consoles sold for, the, for four plus years to outselling it within like less than a year of course you're gonna see people sit back and say i mean what are you crying about you see people talk about oh nintendo's release lineup it's it's weak it's not it's like are you dumb did you not go through what just happened and now this isn't to what ghost robo is saying by the way i'm just saying talk about other people did you just not see what happened with the nintendo wii u the fact that we got stuff like paladins fortnite that we're getting stuff like Dragon Ball Fighters, Naruto. I mean, I have to keep on saying this, but these games didn't come to the Wii U. Wii U got nothing. It got a couple major big games, and that's it. It got some. It got Splinter Cell. It got a couple Call of Duties. It got a couple Assassin's Creeds. It got Watch Dogs. It got a few third-party games, but it wasn't frequent enough it wasn't at the pace we didn't even get indie games at the pace that we got you know indie games took a long time minecraft took a long time like a lot of these indie games wouldn't even come over or they would you know they just would be late so when i when i when you put it in that perspective um excuse me when you put it in that perspective i can see why people are saying why are you crying you know obviously there is legitimate concerns which is fine i've expressed my legitimate concerns i get that but in the grand scheme of things it's not about being forced positivity it's about looking where you came from you know what i'm saying it's like somebody who grew up with nothing 
and then became a millionaire, then complained about their life, their life currently. Most people that I know, well, I know one millionaire. He grew up in poverty. He grew up with nothing. You know? He grew up with nothing. He was adopted. He had nothing. Nobody loved him. And he grew up to be a great person. And he's a great YouTuber now. You know? And he never complains. Even though he has, he has some complaints in his life. There's some things that he can complain about. Somebody vandalized his uh, his Lambo, you know? He went to the store, came back out. Somebody freaking vandalized, scraped across his, um, keyed his Lambo on purpose. That's something to complain about in a video, right? He didn't do it. You know why? Because he know where he came from. He came from nothing. He had nothing. The fact that he even has a Lambo is a miracle. If you looked at how the Switch before the Switch launched, you would have thought it was a miracle that it was how well it was doing. Even before, I mean, let's not even talk about the Wii U days, guys. Before the Switch launched, everybody, not everybody, a lot of people doomed this system. Doomed this system to hack him back. You know? Said it's going to be, I mean, I mean, we don't even have to, I mean, let, let, let's look at this live. I mean, what? Look, look. Let, let, let's just let's just do this. We're not even gonna sit here. I'm gonna go back and show you guys something. This this song is going on for a long time. Okay, this is an extended version. That's why. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and fade this out. Thank you, Amiibo fan. I do appreciate the uh, donation. I accidentally put the um, the extended version of the song. Okay, so we're going back to twenty. We're going back to two thousand six. Once this loads up, so we're going back to 2006. Let's look at some of the comments from Eurogamer's article on what the Nintendo Switch is. Let's go back and look at some of those. And guys, I was wrong on this too, but I'm just saying overall, let's, let's, let's go back and look at what people were saying. Even before the Switch launched. So they weren't even giving Nintendo a chance. There are a huge amount of Nintendo followers who didn't care one, one bit about mobile slash portable gaming, in, me included. To sacrifice power for the sake of portability is a kick in the nuts, to be honest. I don't know what this guy's talking about, but Nintendo portable devices have always crushed Nintendo home consoles in sales. This isn't even... This isn't even a, a contest here. Nintendo's best-selling... Nintendo, Nintendo's best-selling true home console is the Wii. At 100 million units. Before that was the Nintendo was the NES at 60 million units. So decades before the Wii came out, it was the NES. So in between that, they didn't have anything that sold more than 60 million. Yet they had multiple portable devices like the Game Boy, like the Game Boy Advance, like the Nintendo DS, like the uh, Nintendo 3DS. That all sold at least minimum minimum of 70 million units or more. So literally every single, I mean, obviously you have the, like the virtual boy, we're not counting that, but every single main Nintendo home portable system has outsold Nintendo's best-selling system, which is the NES before the Wii came out. Because the Wii is obviously in a different bracket because it did different things to attract people who would have never bought systems before, you know? So I don't know what this guy's talking about, but <laughs> more people like portable gaming for, from Nintendo's standpoint. I mean, that's just a fact. But anyway, the GameCube was heralded as one of Nintendo's best, best designed consoles, most easiest to develop for, best game lineup, and that, and that crap sold 20 million, 21 million units? That sold how much less than the, it sold less than the N64. The GameCube had way more games than the N64, yet it sold more than 10 million less. What's this guy talking about? Um, I mean, you got people trolling. Also, saw cartridges. If you're going back, do it right. Well, that's all well and good, but will it get a port? Okay, hold up. We're not reading that. If true, Nintendo, it sounds like Nintendo is angling to become everyone's second console rather than directly compete with Sony and MS, which sort of makes sense, which I can get to double up on specs and losses. Okay, so this guy, ha uh, this, this guy has it right. But I mean, like, 
see, look at this. I mean, this guy, this guy, he goes on a rant about how it's a bad idea, you know, to look, look, look at all this. Uh, you know, like there's a ton of people here. Like, let's, let's, uh, let, let's go and, uh, put those people trolling. I mean, a lot of people have added new comments afterwards, but originally with these comments, man, like, People were so negative. You know, like, people, uh, see, like, oh, in truth, I'm not sure what Nintendo hopes to achieve here. What do you mean what they hope to achieve here? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, like, and guys, this goes on, this thread goes on forever. There's tons of, there, there's tons of people saying negative stuff. Trust me, guys. When it, when it was first there, people were saying that Nintendo's doomed, that the NX is, is screwed. I mean, all this stuff like that, you know? Um, that's a Eurogamer. That's, that's, that's a Eurogamer article. That's a Eurogamer article. So, um, before we get any further with this, guys, we've got 159 people watching. Go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Let's try to get to 100 likes. You guys can do it. We're at 161 people watching. So, let's go ahead and get into you guys' comments on this with this whole forced positivity thing and the differences and kind of what's going on. What is you guys' take on this? Tag me, at player essence, all one word, at player essence, if you want to read off, if you want me to read off a comment, um, shout outs to Miss Click, my girl Miss Click, Miss Clicky's here. How's it going, Miss Click? Um, congratulations on twenty thousand, Miss Click. Shout outs and six thousand followers on Twitch as well. Shout outs, congrats. Um, and Miss Click says Nintendo is too unique to be replaced by another console. Want my advice? PC plus Switch, maybe a PS4 if you want their exclusives. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good good idea. Good idea. Um, Nintendo doomed. <laughs> Omega lol. <laughs> yeah. Um, Golden Oracle says, uh, Player Essence, can you give me an example of forced positivity? Uh, yeah, I can give you an example. So somebody complains, somebody can complain about, man, Nintendo's, Nintendo's first party lineup, you know, isn't that great this year. Like the first party lineup is not that great. And then maybe somebody comes in and says, well, dude, I mean, we've got, what are you talking about? It's not that great. Like, like it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We got this game. We got this game. We got this game. You know, like I don't know why you're, uh, I don't know why you're complaining about that. So essentially, somebody's saying like giving their opinion on somebody else's negative opinion. So that's what he meant by, or kind of meant by forced positivity. Like everyone is afraid to maybe say something negative because the Switch is doing so well. Because people are happy with the system, because Nintendo's back, you know, so um, it's like a, they can't say something wrong or negative about the system um, and are forced into saying positive things because of that. Now, you guys know how I like to do it. I, I will say, if I need to say something negative, I'll say something negative, but I'm too freaking busy. I'm too old to be complaining like a, oh man, I was about to go, I'm about to go old school OG on you guys. Um, I'm too busy and i'm too much like there's too much stuff that i have to do to be complaining about plastic you know and i don't complain generally about anything unless it's something to where it directly affects my community and what what my people are doing um you guys like for example like epic with the whole blocking or ps4 sony blocking you know epic accounts stuff like that now that's not cool I'll talk about that, but there's a lot of stupid stuff that people talk about all the time. Xbox One doomed and all this other stuff, and you know Microsoft isn't comp whatever. And I, I don't even talk about that crap. I don't care. I don't. I don't have enough time to be talking about that. I don't. I mean, why? You know, I'm not. Video games are supposed to be fun. They're supposed to be fun. Um. Um. But yeah. Um. But, but technically, isn't that a good thing? What is what a good thing? Um, AZ Glitch says, players, I'm actually happy with the games that are coming this year. Dark Souls Remastered, Starlink, or whatever it's called. Uh, you got Starlink, yeah. Smash and more, uh, what I need for this year. Yeah, actually, this year crushes last year in terms of third party support. It's not even close. I think a lot of people are looking at like the heavy hitters. They're looking at the fact that Nintendo is bringing more of the heavy hitters in the second half, you know, like, you know, with Octopath, sorry, I'm with Octopath. You know, and then all the way through the rest of the year, we got heavy hitters. We got Super Mario Party. We got Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We got Super Smash Brothers. So there's a number of bigger games coming on the last half. I think a lot of people are focusing on the fact that we got Zelda and we got ARMS and Splatoon in the first half. And they're not realizing that, okay, wait, hold up. Like in the first half, what did we get for third party? We got Minecraft. 
we got this guy of five good game and we got street fighter that was like pretty much the highlights of the of the third or sorry third party that was the highlights of the third party games in the first half of 2017 or the first few months of the switch in 2017 it was it was minecraft it was this and it was street fighter and that was about that you know <laughs> that was about that whereas in the first half of this year not only did we get like a bunch of cool ports from the wii u beta to one and two hyrule warriors uh captain toad um uh what was it donkey kong country we got kirby which is a new game we got a bunch of cool stuff like celeste we got a bunch of stuff like uh, what else did we get we got um fortnite we got paladins um we got a lot of great games you know a lot of great games we got street fighter a way better street fighter right we got the collection uh we got fallen legion uh we just got so many different games that came out um that uh, in, in this year compared to what happened last year i mean let's look at wolfenstein ease eight lacrimosa of donna you know crash bandicoot i mean shining residence reframe like it's not even close the third party support for this year in the first half or whatever of months of the system has been way better than last year so i think a lot of people are uh, they'll focus on oh well last year we got zelda and this year we got like kirby and mario tennis aces those aren't as good as zelda and splatoon but they're not realizing that the the switch launched in march you know oh yo step let's go we got the first toby blaster let's go toby blaster and our let's go my boy and our mayor hit us with that 15 dollar donation he says quote I barely have time to play new games. I'm loving Octopath right now, though. Absolutely, NR Mare. I'm loving Octopath myself. Octopath is... It's a game that's so good. It's tra it's like transcending what people think. Like, reviews don't... I mean, reviews obviously play a part, but there are people that are like, I'm buying Octopath no matter what. Like, Octopath is so good. It's so good. You got people... You got Like I said, you got PS4 fans saying, why isn't this on... The ps4 i mean we haven't had that with pretty much any game so far this year right when it comes to things and you got people questioning why it's not on ps4 so um yeah man octopath is freaking amazing i love that game i, I actually played i played last night like i was gonna stream but i was like you know it's really late i'm not gonna stream so i just played last night i, I beat the cyrus's boss battle in his chapter so i'm done with that you know i'm power leveling right now man it, it's good man it's like the hd rumble gosh it's good it's good I, it, it tingles my brain every time i talk about octopath because it's so much better than the crap that's released today like it like you know i got done playing wolfenstein right like i played wolfenstein the first time in forever that i like i said this has only been two times in the history of me gaming that i or modern my, my modern gaming that i've ever completely got rid of a game you know i don't sell my games all my games are back there or in my closet over here i don't sell my games back or anything like that i might give some away but i never sell them um and wolfenstein 2 was one of the games that i just said i don't want it in my presence i don't want to look at it i don't want it on my hard drive i don't want it anywhere around me and everyone praises the game like it's like godsend or something and look like i said i know there's some people that like the game but Octopath absolutely destroys Wolfenstein 2. It's not even close. Like, and, and it doesn't even look anywhere near. I mean, we talk about graphics and all this stuff. Like, Octopath destroys. Octopath is such a better game than Wolfenstein. Like, I don't care if you like that they're two different genres. I don't care if people say, why are you compared to? I don't care. Octopath destroys it. It's, it's, it's such a better game. Has so many more cool things to it. So much more depth. It's so good. Octopath is so much better than a lot of the games that are modern games. Because, like, Wolfenstein is a modern game, right? People say, oh, this is great. This is this is what we want. And I'm like, I don't want that. You know, I want Octopath. I want games like that, man. So, I mean, I'm with you, dude. I I'm with you. Um, I'm, it's, not, it's not that I'm not a fan of first-person shooters. It's not that I'm not a fan. I just hate how everyone was praising Wolfenstein as if it's this amazing, oh, my gosh, mind-blowing game. When it's not, it's an old, crusty game. It's an old, crusty game that has great graphics and shock value with um, provoc with with language and certain things. The gameplay is the crustiest gameplay I have ever seen in my life. It is absolutely the crustiest gameplay. I, I it's so crusty and old. My guy, Mr. Krabs, made this game. This crusty crab gameplay, my guy. It's horrible. It is not. It's, you just shoot bullets for five million years. It's like, oh man, sorry. Anyway, shout out to Luigi Gamer Master. Hit us with the subscription. Thank you so much, man. Do appreciate that. Welcome to the village. Welcome to the village. Um, 
Uh, sorry guys, I went on another Wolfenstein 2 rant. Do and by the way guys, I actually like Doom. I actually like Doom. I think Doom is a much better game than Wolfenstein 2. So I'm not trying to hate on Westerners. You know, you go to all Westerners, I'm not trying to hate on us or anything like that. Go to all USA, I'm not trying to hate. I'm just saying like, it's crusty. Everyone said that this game was so good and it's crusty. It's the crustiest scab, peel off, crusty crab game that I've ever played. I don't want it in my presence. Anyway, um... So let's go ahead and move on here. What, what do you guys think, man? Um, Our Extreme Gaming um, um, is just hate. Uh, they're mad because they were wrong about the Switch. I mean, it, it's. I don't know if it's. Just, I don't say. I don't know if it's just hate. I mean, because like I said, I, I think it might be a combination. It could be. Obviously, you have those haters and all that stuff like that. But shout out to my boy NR Merit. Thank you for the fifteen dollars donation once again. Do appreciate that, homie. Um, guys, guys, give some love to NR Merit, man. Give some love for the Toby Blaster. Give some love to the Toby Blaster there. Um, if you got those Monados, please spam it for my boy NR Merit. Um. But yeah, I think I, I I usually get off into a rant about Wolfenstein. I gotta really stop doing that. I don't think I, I don't think I should stop doing that. <laughs> I always rant about Wolfenstein at some point. It gets cause like, man, dude, man, like I watch so many reviews of Wolfenstein. I watch so many Westerners just say it's the it's such a great, it's the best thing to hold God, Wolfenstein. That's, how crusty, how many, how crusty do you like your crust on your Western gameplay, dude? How, how crusty do you like your crust? That's all I got to say with Wolfenstein. How crusty do you like it? Uh, <laughs> to be honest, that's, that's because you're more uh, comfortable with RPGs, LJ. No, it's not even about that because it's not even about that. Can anybody, okay. Can anybody tell me here anything innovative that Wolfenstein 2 does? Give me some innovative gameplay. G Give me some anybody who's beat Wolf. Give me some innovative gameplay that Wolfenstein 2 does. Give me something. Give me some innovative gameplay. I'll play this music. I'll wait for you guys. Give me some stuff that Wolfenstein 2 does innovative. Anything. Any shred of innovation. Let me know. Shout out to Deku Deku with the two dollar donation. Thank you so much, homie. Um, because most games, even Western games, have some shred. They have shreds of innovation. Heck, Call of Duty even has that every year. Some with some look well, at least strands. There's some strands. Of, like, there's nothing in Wolfenstein. Um, can you guys hear the music? Good. Nazi killing lasers. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Did Wolfenstein kill your dog? <laughs> wheelchair boys? You can you can play as a wheelchair, Jimmy. I think the reason why Wolfenstein 2 was liked so much was that it was harking back to the old school first person shooter. Personally, I'm tired of games like COD and Battlefield. Yeah, harking back to the old school first person shooter of just crust of, of, of crusty gameplay. I mean, I know everyone doesn't like Cliffy B, but Cliffy B said something like 10 years ago. He said the future of, of shooters is, is RPGs. That's what that's what Cliffy B said, because Cliffy B saw that Western like shooters were getting crusty. You know? So, I mean, if you guys think that it's... Okay, so... You make a game, and I, I understand, like, you're trying to harken back to the old-school first-person shooters. But there's... I mean, there's nothing new! Like, even with... Like, so is Octopath. Octopath is trying to harken back to the old-school RPGs, but there's a ton of cool and innovative things in Octopath, though. You know? There's a lot of depth. I don't see that. I don't see that with Wolfenstein. Or, I mean... I think it just goes to show you how shallow first-person shooters are then, if that's the case. You know? Maybe that's the case. Maybe maybe that's it. That's how shallow they were. That's that's how shallow and mindless first-person shooter games are. But the fact that you can make a modern one and you play it and it just it just it's just horrible, you know? Like, but for me, I need a little bit more depth than what Wolfenstein has. Like I need some more depth. Like I said, I like Doom more. Doom's a lot better. Doom's a way better game. I think Doom does a better job of hearkening back to the old school first person shooters. I think it adds what the old school first person shooters did and it actually makes it fun to play. You know? So, I don't know. I like to think a little bit when I play my games. I don't like to just simply hold down a trigger and just go. Just like. 
Like for like freaking eight hours. That's all you do in Wolf is like the whole time. It's it's horrible. It's, it's, it's horrible. It's, I mean, if you guys find that fun, that's fine. You guys, you guys want to do that? Hold down the trigger and just shoot all day? Like go through five gazillion rounds of ammo forever? That's fine. You guys can do that. But I I, I don't I don't find that very fun. I didn't find first person. I mean, like even like 007, like Goldeneye. Like, you had objectives in there, you had some stealthy stuff, you had remote mines, I mean, you had some things. It's crusty, that gameplay is crustier than, than Goldeneye on the N64. Perfect Dark, Perfect Dark is better. Like, it has more, there's more innovations in Perfect Dark than Wolfenstein. And those are old school shooters. Those are some of the most popular, best selling old school shooters. Heck, the first person shooter genre blew up in popularity i mean obviously there was doom right but like 3d goldeneye you know and then you got like halo and all that like might be more innovative ideas in those old games than wolfenstein so that, that that's that's just my opinion this is my opinion uh yeah we're on a shooter's rat <laughs> we're on a shooter's rat we're on a shooter's rat um hold on to your questions um uh boy z hold on to your questions so the end we'll, we'll talk about that at the end but anyway um anyway let's go ahead and move on to the next topic here guys so we got actually a pretty cool announcement this is the first time in a while first time in a while i'm gonna go over to my favorite website ever gavatsu so we've got um digital or sorry digital digimon digimon survive announced for the playstation 4 and the drum roll nintendo switch so awesome stuff there man really excited about this this is the first time that a digimon game has or not the first time but it's been a while since we've seen digimon so let's go ahead and i'm, I'm gonna show you guys the screens and it looks like it's gonna be like a fire emblem style digimon game strategy but it's gonna be like your choices like affect the story so it's gonna be like a maybe like a mass effect not in the gameplay but like you have choices that can affect the story but then also seems like it's going to be like fire emblemish with its combat um so there's that let me can i uh can i zoom in more okay let me let's zoom in more so it looks like yeah it's going to be like more um as you can see right here like you see like the cursor like you see like the outline so it looks like it's going to be like a, a definitely like a fire emblem style where terrain and like also like it looks like you can explore to exploration and um fire emblem style rpg uh where uh, you really have to fight for your survival in this world and like different um evolutions and things it looks good like look you can look at like the cutscene here like you see like the different choices so that's the reason why i said like mass effect because you can pick between this dialogue option this dialogue option or this dialogue option uh to this person here but then also kind of like um like a detective because like you can see right here like you're like pointing like, there's like something like okay well what, what do i need to get right here or like maybe you need to grab something for your survival so that's like that right there and then this right here you can see like i said clearly like a fire emblem style on a map grid cursor base maybe it's not going to be exactly like that but there's like 2d and 3d elements into the game so um i'm actually excited about this digimon game i think it looks pretty good um and it's been a while i don't know what the what was the last digimon game that we had on nintendo platform like all of the digimon like the cyber sleuth and all that stuff all that stuff skipped nintendo platforms so um it's pretty cool to see that um also shout outs to uh seabass what's up seabass man thank you so much for the subscription welcome to the village homie do appreciate your support man um do appreciate that uh let's see here so what do you guys think about digimon man are any of you guys big digimon fans and uh, let me go back and read some of the comments here. Um, uh, AG, <laughs> AG, uh, AZ Glitz said, Player, since I love how the song ended as soon as your rant ended. <laughs> yeah. Uh, G5, Bobby King says, Player, since uh, you can say that you don't like sh uh, shooting all day, but that's uh, what these games are and always have been from day one. There's a story, but the premise is Doom of Doom and Wolf is. Well, no, Doom has like upgrades and stuff like that, though, G5. Like, like for example, like Fortnite. I don't got a problem with Fortnite because like Fortnite one it does something innovative you know like the battle royale genre in general is new but like um they also make it to where like uh you have different classes of weapons and like they have the and like you know they have different the speeds and the types of bullets and there's a lot more depth than than that so i mean i don't think it's just like that doom and wolfenstein are not the same game doom is a much better game than wolfenstein doom is a much better game than wolfenstein you have runes you have the challenge rooms things you have obviously the multiplayer 
but like you have the transformations that you can do you have the loadouts like doom absolutely crushes wolfenstein so i i, I disagree like i disagree um there are a lot of different things that separate the shooters you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of different stuff like call of duty for example call of duty revolutionized the rpg or multiplayer aspects of a shooter right like when you play call of duty it was really the first time on a large scale that you got experience as soon as you, you killed somebody okay i got my xp got my xp you know okay now i can call in a drop like you get like powers you know oh now i can do like an airstrike you know like that revolutionized what i'm like i was huge into cod you know huge into call of duty back when it first came out you know what i'm saying because it was innovative it was new it was something different um Wolfenstein is nothing like that. Call I still think Call of Duty 4 crushes Wolfenstein. I'd rather play Call of Duty 4 all day. Give me Call of Duty 4 remastered. Give me that any day compared to Wolfenstein 2. Wolfenstein 2 is horrible in my opinion. It's it's so dry and crusty. Like I get it that you're trying to harken back to the old school, but at the same time like you've got to put in some things in there, man. Like you've got to do that. Like if like I said, if you like mindlessly mindlessly shooting for 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 eight hours into the void of gazillion bullets and nothing outside of that then that's fine you know then that's fine then you can do that but i'm not gonna sit here and say that and while everyone's praising this game like it's the second coming and then crapping on sometimes crapping on octopath or crapping on rpgs that come out i'm not gonna sit back and just be like all right yeah that's cool because like nobody everyone's afraid to talk bad about wolfenstein too because everyone says it's how great the game is and i'm like bs dude like people have no problem bashing rpgs bashing uh, uh bashing japanese games to heck and back but the minute you say something about a western game that the majority of people like all of a sudden it's a problem like nah man i'm not gonna nah screw that i'm not gonna be like that wolfenstein 2 is trash <laughs> it's trash it's not good it's not good it's not good at all doom and other games are much better wolfenstein 2 is trash i'm not going with the norm and with the flow just because wolfenstein 2 has a high metacritic and the western the westerners the westerners love wolfenstein 2 i don't gotta agree with them and i'm not going to agree with them so no i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it um not gonna do it at all sorry <laughs> um golden oracle says player since a cod4 remastered is is so good i just need a modern warfare 2 remastered are you hearing me activision <laughs> yeah <laughs> um let's see here um i under i understand that i understand that g5 i understand that but it's still boring you know what I'm saying? Like, it's still boring. No matter what you try to sit here and say, oh, well, it, it's still it's still boring. It's still boring to sit there and hold down the trigger for eight hours straight. It's still boring. I don't think Wolfenstein's a good game. I don't care if they're trying to harken back to OG, you know, shooters or whatever the case is. The OG shooters are gone. They're OG for a reason. They're gone for a reason because nobody wants to play OG shooters like that, in my opinion. And it's not like Wolfenstein 2 did crazy numbers. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it did crazy numbers. I don't think it sold more than Doom. I don't think it sold more than Doom, so it's not like everybody wants to play that crap anyway. Um, people just sit there and praise it because everyone else is praising it. Oh, it's a good game. Oh, it has great graphics. Oh, it has a good story. Oh, so it's a good game. No, the gameplay is trash and old and recycled. It's horrible. But when your gameplay isn't better than 007 GoldenEye, I'm sorry. There's a limit to how, how far that I can say I can go back. Like, for example, like Octopath, dude... That game is old school, right? It's supposed to be like the OG games, but you've got to admit, there's a lot of different things that it adds new to the genre. Like, old school RPGs didn't have you freaking netting um, classes to where you could net Pokemon, like Pokemon style, like gathering, you know, like with Hanit and what she can do, like the type of different like weaknesses that you can exploit, how you uncover them, how the classes are set up. It's old school. There's some things, but it definitely does a lot of modern things in the old school Japanese RPG design. There's nothing modern about Wolfenstein. It's just a trash old school shooter. It's just a trash old school shooter. There's nothing great about it. It's just trash old school shooter. There's nothing modern there's nothing that they do there, there's nothing it's 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 just there you know what i'm saying like you've got to at least add something to the mix like you can't sit there and add nothing but oh well it's a harken back to the old school well there's a reason why old school isn't here anymore you know what i'm saying like i don't want rpgs to play just like the old school games i want them to borrow from them but then add in modern elements as well i don't want it to be exactly like that to where i mean there's some old school rpgs to where you don't even know what your attacks do you can't even see what your attacks do you just have to test it out or you just have to remember i don't want 
RPGs of today to do that. I want them to at least be able to tell me, at least have a toggle bar like Octopath to where you can see, okay, this will do this, you know? I mean, and there's a lot of old school RPGs that do that, by the way. I mean, when I was growing up as a kid, I remember playing RPGs to where it didn't tell you what it did. You just had to, I mean, there's there's some moves where I earned and I did it and I'm like, okay, well, what does that do for me? I have no idea what this does, you know? So I don't want them to play like that. That's an old school element that was in tons of RPGs. Good RPGs be at that too. You know, so, I mean, I see what you're trying to say, G5. I mean, I, I get it. Trust me. Like I said, I'm not I'm not saying that Wolfenstein is a game that shouldn't be here. I'm not saying that people, other people can't like Wolfenstein. I'm not saying that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not I'm not saying that. All I'm saying for me, it's trash. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> for me, it's trash. And I don't ever want to see that game. I'll never play that game again. And I'll never stream that game again. And I'll never play a game like that again in my life. Like that. that's my last straw. With how everybody was praising that game, that's, that's my last straw with that game. So don't ever expect that type of game on my channel ever again. It's been banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> uh, banished to the Shadow Realm um okay you guys are you guys are making fun of me my rant <laughs> uh what 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 is well okay g5 we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta talk about, look we can just agree to disagree we can agree to disagree i don't see anything modern i don't the only thing that's modern is the graphics in, in wolfenstein there's more innovative gameplay elements in perfect dark than wolfenstein too but i mean let's just be, can we be real here there's more innovative segments in in perfect dark on the n64 than there is and Wolfenstein 2. And Perfect Dark is an old school shooter. That is an actual old school shooter. That game came out a long time ago. You know, we're going on 20 years that that game came out. GoldenEye is 20 plus years old. GoldenEye has more innovative gameplay elements than Wolfenstein. Than Wolfenstein. And Doom and, Go Doom and GoldenEye weren't that far apart in terms of when they came out in years. You know what I'm saying? They weren't that far apart. So they're both old school shooters. GoldenEye and Doom, you know. Or, or, or Wolf, old school Wolf, old school Doom, you know? And even then they innovated more than what Wolfenstein did. You know what I'm saying? So, I, <laughs> uh, so, so I mean, I, I, can't, I can't endorse Wolfenstein 2's gameplay. I'm sorry. There's nothing that anybody can sit here and tell me to say that I endorse what they did in that game. There, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Um, I love Halo. I love Halo. Actually, I really, I really do like Halo. I actually really do like Halo. Halo was one of my favorite games growing up. I mean, to this day, I can still, like, you get some people around, I can still play Halo. But Halo has multiplayer. Halo has, like, XP and upgrades and things like that in, like, for Halo. So Halo's different, you know what I'm saying, than Wolfenstein too. So, I mean, but hey. What's up? What's up, Velvety? What's up? Um, <laughs> I don't like Wolfenstein too. OJ, 2018. OJ versus you. We're not going to debate an opinion on this. We're not going to debate. It's just my opinion, guys. I'm not going to debate my opinion on Wolfenstein 2. I don't have a problem with people liking Wolfenstein. This whole podcast, this whole live stream has turned into Wolfenstein 2, and it's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault, and it's G5's fault that this whole podcast has turned into Wolfenstein 2. And my ranting. You guys are pushing and poking me to rant on Wolfenstein 2. <laughs> um... But no, guys, I'm not trying to say that you guys shouldn't buy Wolfenstein 2. I'm not trying to say that you guys shouldn't like Wolfenstein 2. I'm not saying that at all. Actually, I, I actually suggest if you if you like shooting games, go out and buy Wolfenstein 2. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't. Like, that's the difference between me and other people who hate other games. I'm not trying to tell you don't get it. I can realize why others might like the game and why others tell people that it's a good game. But for me, I'm telling you guys my opinion on the game. And I'm not going to sit here and conform to what everybody else says because everyone else, everyone else says Wolfenstein 2 is a great game. And I'm not going to sit there and tell you my own opinion on that, my own personal opinion. Now, do I think it's a great game in terms of what else? Is, other things? Yeah, sure. Why not? You know? Yeah, it, it got good graphics. It's got solid gameplay. Whatever. You know? But personally, for me, that is trash. And I'll never play another game like that again. You know? So I can separate the two. You know? I can separate the two. Some people can't separate the two. When they call a game trash, they'll sit there and say that it's trash and nobody should play it. Nobody should like it. Nobody should buy it. I'm not doing that. I can separate the two. And I can realize when other people are going to think that this game is really good. Because people are very easily tricked by graphics and shock value in games. Like, it's very easy to trick the, the modern consumer. Like, you, you make a game with good graphics. You make a game with shock value. 
and you can trick people into thinking that it's a good game, you know? <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. All right, so um, <laughs> the Wolfenstein 2 rant of the century. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty, that was a pretty big Wolfenstein 2 rant. That, I, I, I agree. Uh, what made Wolf 2, uh, or Wolf, yeah, Wolf 2 trash to you? Um, I guess we can move into Q&A. So if you guys want to ask me questions and stuff, go ahead and tag me at Player Essence. What are we at? We're almost at about an hour. So yeah, I gotta, I, gotta, I can't do this one as long. So we're almost about an hour. So um, let me get a donation request. Uh, we had a donation um, that came in. So shout outs to uh, K19. K19, yo, let's go. Is that the, the Fringe fam? With a $2.50 donation, he says, I am so hyped for Digimon game. For the Switch, I used to play World 2 and Rumble Arena all the time with my brother. Shoutouts, man. Thank you so much. That was 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry. My, my rant on uh, Wolfenstein 2 overshadowed your donation. So thank you so much. You guys give some love to K9. Uh, K19, K19 with a $2.50 donation. He is part of the Fringe fam as well. Jordan Fringe. So shoutouts, dude. Thank you. Um, yeah, man. I'm looking forward to Digimon Survive as well. It's looking like it's going to be a pretty good game. Um... So what made me think Wolf Wolf 2 is trash? Uh, the boring gameplay. It's just boring, stale, crusty crab who lives in a barnacle under the sea gameplay. Um, if it wasn't so crusty, if Mr. Krabs didn't develop the game, if it wasn't so dry and tasteless, um, um, then maybe I would have liked it more. But it's literally like, you ever had like a hamburger and it's the most tasteless hamburger in the world? You taste it and there's no flavor to it. It's just dry, and the person, whoever's making the hamburger, they try to put mayonnaise on it, and they don't even use the olive oil healthy mayonnaise. They put the nasty, full, unhealthy mayonnaise, okay? And then they put, like, some radish on there or some relish. They put some nasty stuff on there to try to make it taste good, but then it's not. It looks like it tastes good, but then you end up getting it, you know, or almost like the pictures. Have you ever seen, like, you ever go to a fast food place and you see the pictures of the food and then you get the food and it doesn't look like the picture? That's what Wolfenstein 2 is. It doesn't have the soul. It doesn't have the soul. It, it plays the part. It looks the part. But then when you play it, you realize that this game has zero soul and they're just trying to tug with your emotions. The game has zero soul. Absolute none. It's It has, in terms of the gameplay, the story has plenty of stuff, but the gameplay has zero soul at all. It has no soul. Um, so that's just my opinion um, on it. So yeah, that's that. That's it. Um, <laughs> yeah, OJ, that burger sounds like trash. <laughs> I don't even eat. I don't even eat burgers like that. <laughs> um, um, all right, take it easy, Velvety. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, players, <laughs> Boise says, "Gotta love LJ and his unpopular game opinions." Yeah, that's gonna be an unpopular game opinion. That's definitely an unpopular game opinion. Uh, Michael O'Brien says, "Players, says, what unannounced game do you think is coming to the Switch in 2018?" I don't want to answer that question. Um, Let's see here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Good, like the hate flow through. <laughs> Is Nintendo Ultra here? <laughs> Nintendo Ultra said, oh my God, what's up Nintendo Ultra? Shout out to my boy Nintendo Ultra. Make sure you guys check out my boy's channel. Uh, Nintendo Ultra says, rather watch paint dry than play Wolfenstein 2. <laughs> I know, and w Nintendo Ultra's just like me. Nintendo Ultra actually likes Doom. He has a lot of hours into Doom. So Nintendo Ultra's just like me. Like We like Doom, but we think that Wolfenstein 2 is just trash. It, it is very, It is very much... I, I think I'd rather watch paint dry. Um, just, as long as I, just as long as I can have my Nintendo Switch with me. <laughs> but I, I think I'd rather watch paint dry than to actually sit down and play Doom. And that's the reason why I deleted it off my hard drive. I, I can't stand that game. Um, <laughs> OG has been catfished? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> He's on a crusty rant roll today. <laughs> this click. <laughs> um, Dawson31 says, Player says, uh, What do you expect from Digimon Survive? I want some um, aspects from Digimon World on the PS1. Well, I haven't played Digimon World on the PS1. I'm expecting, like, uh, I, I don't know what to expect because I don't play Digimon games, so I don't really know what to expect. I just know what they told us here. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, Soccer Star 9001 says, uh, Player says, thanks for, subs uh, thanks for describing my breakfast. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> OJ, Wolfenstein on the, on the Super Nintendo? I played Wolfenstein on the Super Nintendo, and I didn't think it was that great back then either. I played Wolfenstein on Super Nintendo. I played, I played Wolfenstein. I played Doom. I played all those games that I never thought any of them were good back then. In the day, the best, the my favorite Doom game is Doom on the on the on the Switch. That's my favorite Doom game because that's the that's the only Doom game that I've ever enjoyed. Um, I don't like the other Doom games. I don't think that they're very good. That's just my opinion. Um, Octopath or God of War? Uh, depends on what you like more, dude. You, you like action games or do you like RPGs more? 
uh, if it's me, personally for me, um, I would get Octopath. But I like RPGs more than God. Of War. I mean, I've played God of War. I don't. I don't like God of War that much. So that's. But that's just me. I know there's a lot of people who love God of War. But you. You won't see me go on a crusty crusty gameplay rant with god of war because god of war actually has some soul god of war has upgrades god of war has some some innovation here and there god of war has some things like it's not so boring like you can do stuff you can improve you can get better armor like there's 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 soul to the game i just don't like the combat but i realize that there's soul in the game it was made with soul like at least they tried to you know, I just don't like the gameplay um, as much. But I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna rant on God of War, even though I don't like the game, the new God of War, even though I don't like it as much as the older God of War games, like God of War Two or God of War One or whatever. I'm not gonna rant on it because I realize that the game has soul and it's not crusty. It's not a crusty game. Wolfenstein Two is a crusty game. You know. Uh, you need to add Wolfenstein Two uh, debacle in the description of the live stream. I think I'll make sure that I put. I put uh, I put that. Yeah, the new one, Miss Click. The, the new God of War. Not the original God of War. The new God of War. Um, t Dudes says, Players, what was your favorite rare game on any Nintendo system? Uh, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest or whatever. That's my favorite one. Um, that's my favorite one. Um, uh, Boise says, Players, since Wolfenstein, they uh, called. They, <laughs> they said, thank you for the sale. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Um, uh, Dyke Beam Center says, uh, favorite anime game, uh, favorite anime game. That's tough. Um, I haven't thought about that, even though I play a lot of anime games, uh, favorite anime game, uh, probably Naruto Gekito Ninja Tyson four or EX special. So here in America, that's called, um, Class of Ninja Revolution, Naruto Class of Ninja, Naruto Shippuden Class of Ninja Revolution Three. It would be that game, that that point. Uh, that's my probably my favorite anime game. Um, trying to think, any other anime games? Uh, we're not counting like Fire Emblem and all that. We're counting games that are actually based off of real anime, so like Dragon Ball Z and all that. So yeah, yeah, Naruto Genkito Ninja Tyson, uh, Genkito Ninja Tyson. That that franchise is my favorite, but it, that franchise is dead. So <laughs> so yeah. Um. Yeah, man, Ataki, I know what you're saying, dude. I know what you're saying. Uh, nothing says players. Uh, what if Nintendo start making 3DS ports like Kid Icarus Uprising for the Switch? Is that a possibility? I don't know about 3DS ports, but like remakes. Yeah, that's a possibility. Uh, can we raid the Yellow Kazoo? Uh, well, we're not done streaming yet, man. We still got some. Uh, we got some stuff. So I'll see if, if she's still on. Yeah, maybe we can raid. We can raid her. Uh, someone send a Wolfie 2 poster to OJ's doorstep. Yeah, well, that'll get sent back. Return address, Miss Clicky. <laughs> Return address, Miss Click. Return it right back to sender. Um, Gloria 720 says, Player, since I have 320 hours in Doom and I've beaten Wolf 2 twice, just putting that out there. Okay, good for you, man. Um, J2 Blues is a player since to me the biggest uh, problem with first person shooter is the lack of unique gameplay to differentiate uh, them from each other to me that is what makes Doom so fun yeah Doom is actually different yeah I, I agree Doom's good Doom's good I rather I, I got way farther in Doom than I did in Wolfenstein 2 I played I played Wolf 2 for one night and I was like like I was actually physically upset that I wasted my life I wasted my life two hours that I could never get back on that trash that that's how upset i was i actually sat like after i was done streaming i kind of sat back looked at the mirror and said what did i just do for the past two hours why did i waste my time why did i waste my money why did i waste everyone else's time like um with with this game so yeah that that's that's how the same thing that, that i did with like sonic boom rise of lyric same thing that i had in my mind with that game like i i don't and I, like I said i never go off on games this much guys but man i really don't like wolfenstein too i really don't like that game <laughs> Um, let's see here. Respect the closest places. What's your favorite, um, favorite game that's not an RPG? My favorite game that's not an RPG. Um, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers for Wii U. Um, let's see here. Boom. Um, Golden Oracle 64 says, uh, Parsons, I felt the same way about Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, you know what the funny thing is about Final Fantasy 13 is that I actually, <laughs> I, Final Fantasy 13 is not a good game. But I, but I did, I did enjoy it once you got to Grand Pulse or whatever. 
that when, once it opened up, it was actually it actually got there. But no, there's a, there's a numerous amount of flaws in Final Fantasy 13. Lightning Returns is the biggest piece of trash that I've. It's one of the biggest pieces of trash that's ever came out of the main studio from Square Enix. Final Lightning Returns is really bad. It's a really bad game, um, because of expectations, not because it's not as good or they didn't fix things compared to the first like Final Fantasy 13, but because. They had all that time and they still messed up on the last game with Lightning. Like Lightning is an amazing character. Lightning is actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite Final Fantasy character. I'd probably say my number one favorite character is Cloud. And then my second favorite character is Lightning. And Lightning is very close as a character, as a character. But the fact that they messed Lightning up so bad with her games, the fact that Lightning, the character is so much better than her games. I feel bad for a, a not a real character that she was stuck in these trash games because Lightning is so much better than what her games portray. Lightning is an amazing character. She's awesome. She's a super waifu. But like, man, like those games suck, dude. They're not good. <laughs> all the light, all those games, all Final Fantasy 13, 13, 2, and Lightning Returns, they're all trash. The best one is. 13 2 that's the best one out of all of them but man they're overall compared to what final fantasy has done before in the past they're complete trash Thir uh, 13 2 is the only passable game in that trilogy um uh, players did you ever get around to playing horizon zero dawn i'm just gonna cover my face right now dude just oh uh let's let's move, let's move on shall we you guys have any more uh questions tag me at player essence uh, at player essence amiibo fans is person so would you rather play dmc2 or wolf2 wow that is a good one <laughs> all right let's end the live stream right now guys thanks for watching i do appreciate it no i'm joking i'm joking oh jesus dude man that's like picking between like my like my like my mom and my brother <laughs> oh that's a hard decision not that my mom and my brother, my mom and my brother are much better than those pieces of crap that are Wolfenstein too, and and uh, that I'm just saying like like that's such a hard decision to make. That's what I'm trying to portray here. God, good question, movie Wolfang. You're putting me on the spot, dude. When you when you don't troll me, you really ask the hard hitting questions. Oh man. Mm, mm, mm. Oh God, that's a tough question. I'm going to go with Wolfenstein 2. And here's the reason why I'm going to go with Wolfenstein 2. Wolfenstein 2, there's nothing wrong, per se, with the just the basic gameplay. Like, you just shoot. So it's more mindless than DMC 2. DMC 2, you actually have to think at times in that game. And it's trash. So I'm... I would just, if I had to play one, I would put Wolfenstein 2 on the easiest difficulty. I would just shoot, 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 and beat the game in a couple hours and be done. DMC 2, there's actually some stuff that you got to do. It makes the experience even worse. So I'm going to go with Wolf 2. I'm going to go with Wolf 2. So, so yeah. Uh, um, let's see here. Uh, Afro Power. <laughs> Afro Power. <laughs> Smoked salmon or smoked turkey? Uh, they're both very good. I'm going to go with smoked salmon, though. I'm going to go with smoked salmon. Um, Prince Goro says, uh, Plus, Wolfenstein 2 is amazing. Best Switch game of, uh, in 2018, Matt. If you, <laughs> if you think that, it's all good, dude. Respect the closest places. What's the worst JRPG you've ever played? Uh, the worst JRPG that I've ever played? I don't know, because I usually play good ones. I, I've probably played some bad ones, but I can't think of one per se that's the worst jrpg i know i've played some bad ones but i can't um uh, i'm not really sure to be honest i don't really know i'd probably say like like, like last remnant that was pretty bad when it first launched on the 360. <laughs> That was one of the really. I usually I usually do my research and I play good at JRPGs though, so I'm not really sure. So, so yeah, not really sure. Um. Yeah, yeah. Maybe after I'm done with Octopath, maybe a Horizon Zero Dawn one. Epic Steve says, "Person, you missed my statement." But seriously, Lightning sucks. Okay, if that's what you think, that's cool. Um, let's see. Skez. Skez. Skells. 
81 says players. I'm guessing your reaction means you didn't like Horizon Zero Dawn. No, I, I have not played it enough to have a one way. I think it's good. I think Horizon Zero Dawn is good. I think it will be good when I when I start really playing. I have the complete edition sealed. I got to play it. Um, nothing says players. Uh, the 22nd Nintendo Direct Mini is a possibility. What do you think about it if the Direct did really happen? I kind of mixed into the uh, my bet with $100. Uh, I don't know, dude. If, if they do it, that's fine, dude. It's all good. Um, Soccer Star 9001 says, Parsons, what's your opinion on the new Mario Kart DX content? Um, did they, like, new, like, did they announce Mario Kart, new Mario Kart DX content? Is, has that been announced? I don't know. A mod, can you link me to that? Or just, they just announced that there is going to be more stuff coming, but there's only rumors, nothing definitive. Uh, Thank Beam Center says, Parsons, what game is the worst, uh, Wolfenstein 2 or Mass Effect Andromeda? Um... <laughs> Mass Effect Andromeda is a bad game, but I personally rather play Mass Effect Andromeda than Wolfenstein 2. Um, Rufus says, Parsons, what's your first game that you got hooked into video games? Uh, Super Mario Bros. Uh, 3. Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, PB says, uh, Parsons, if you could have one, would it be Final Fantasy VI Remake or Chrono Trigger Remake? Uh, Chrono Trigger Remake. Chrono Trigger Remake. Um, what's up, everything, Nintendo man? How you doing today? Um, Quantum Elsa's players, since do you think we're going to see two terabyte Xbox One X announced at Gamescom? Uh, who cares, dude? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. But like, do you, like, why would I care about a two terabyte Xbox One X, man? <laughs> it's just more memory. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I try to be mean or not. I'm just like. Why should I care about a two terabyte Xbox? Like, why do I care about a two terabyte Xbox One X, man? Like, <laughs> you care? Okay, you care, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just there's no there's no reason for me to care about a two terabyte. There's no games to fill that two terabyte Xbox One X. <laughs> We got like three games that you actually want to play, bro. <laughs> you can have all this space for nothing, bro. It's like my house. I got four bedrooms here. I'm the only person that lives here. I walk around like freaking Bruce Wayne in this house. Like, what's the point of me living here, bro? This <laughs> man, Bruce Wayne, just sitting in his house like, man, there's a lot of space around here, bro. <laughs> Alfred, come keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Uh, <laughs> two terabyte X. What you gonna fill that up with, man? <laughs> I already got a PS4. I already got a. I already got like a PS4. I already got an Xbox One S. I have an Xbox One X uh, coming in the mail. Um, I already have a, a one terabyte Xbox One X coming in the mail. Um, so. I don't really know what I already got a PC that has like a bunch of terabytes. I got a two terabyte hard drive that has pretty much every game that comes to Xbox One is coming to my PC, you know. So I mean I don't space isn't it <laughs> what what does space matter at this point, man? Um uh let's see here. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean. We're just trying to have we're having we're just having a little bit of fun. We're just having a little bit of fun. Um Let's see here. Uh, Gabriel Rodriguez says, "Player, since uh, which game is better, a Wolf Two or Doom on the Switch? Doom by a large margin, in my opinion. Um, you need you need a Butler now. Yeah, I need a. That's exactly what I need a Butler. <laughs> I need a Butler, dude. Um, let's see here. Uh, Boise says, "Player, since what are your thoughts on Crackdown Three not being able to be fully multiplayer on Xbox One because of the cloud?" Um, I don't know. I haven't really read much into it. Batman Essence. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't read much into it, man. Every Call of Duty game ever. There you go. <laughs> Jose Lopez says, Player says, oh, what do you think of the new Naruto game they showed off at E3? The new Naruto game? Shinobi Striker? Which, which one are you talking about? What new Naruto game? What, what was the new Naruto game that they showed off at E3? Which, was it Shinobi Striker? Um, Jump Force? That's not a Naruto game. 
How, how the heck is Jump Force a Naruto game? That's not a Naruto game. It's jump. It's a, it's a crossover. What do I think about it? I think it looks like trash, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Wolf 2 is trash because you shoot a lot. Makes sense. <laughs> that's not really it, but if that's what you got out of what I said. All good, man. Uh, Golden Oracle 64 says players in his favorite RPG of all time. Chrono Trigger, I'm guessing. Uh, you guessed right, Chrono Trigger. Uh, Jose Lopez says players in Strikers. Not sure how I feel about it yet. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about an always online Naruto game too. I'll get it, but I don't know if it's going to be any good. Players has played any One Piece games. Yeah, I actually played the One Piece game. Um, I think it's Unlimited World Red on the Wii U. You can still watch my gameplay video of it. Um, just go on the channel, type in One Piece Unlimited World Red Wii U. And I have a gameplay video on it. That game's also on the Switch as well. The same game. But it's uh, they upgraded it to like 60 frames per second. So it actually plays better on the Wii U. Or sorry, on the Switch than the Wii U version. But it's on PS4. I think it's on Xbox. I'm, I think it's on Xbox One. Whatever. But anyway, yeah. One Piece Unlimited World Red. I thought it was okay. Um, T dude says, uh, player since uh, final question, do you think take two is becoming EA for bringing just one game f for the Nintendo switch NBA 2k 19? Uh, well, they actually have more than one game. Um, they have that stupid carnival games that they're going to be bringing as well, but um, it might as well just be one game. Um, is EA becoming the, is take two becoming the new EA? No, I don't think so because take two is open to doing more stuff on the, on the, on the switch. So, no, I don't think so. It's not like Take-Two makes a bunch of games anyway. Uh, Dank Meme Center says, Player, since uh, did, you used, did you used to be a competitive Super Smash Bros. Uh, Melee? Uh, no, not really. I got into competitive play with Brawl. And then really, really, really got into it with Smash 4. <clears throat> um, J Dollar Love Money says, Player, since Octopath or Xenoblade Chronicles? Uh, we got to wait till I beat Octopath. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's too early for me to say which one. Um... Yo, hit that like button. Let's see if we can get to... Can we get to 150 likes, dude? We got 113. That's pretty good. Can we get to 150? Do I like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 better than 1? Yeah, I think Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a better game than Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Mm -hmm. Prince Girl says, Player, since are you looking forward to Dead Cells? I'm excited, but I'm not sure uh, about the roguelike elements. Yeah, I'll be playing... Um, I'll be, What's it called? Yeah, Dead Cells. Yeah, um, I actually just... My, my review key just got approved. So actually, I have the key... I can play the game right now if I wanted to. I could have played it earlier. I have the key, but I can't talk about it till I can't talk about it or I can't review it till after August 6th, I think. And then I can't even stream it or play it for you guys live or footage till August 4th. So I'm probably not going to play it for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have it. Um, uh, let's see. Mr. Snappy Paws. This player in COD Black Ops four rumored for switch is confirmed how is it rumored but then confirmed on um, there's a site that else link no available i can't understand what you're saying dude I, well dude i don't know if call of duty i'm not going to spread rumors that that aren't like they're rumors dude i don't i don't know i don't know so i'm not going to act like it's true we don't know you have to wait and see melee is so overrated melee is not overrated afro power says player since are you more hyped for fear effect remake or darksiders 3 um probably darksiders 3 um, Golden Oracle. Oh no, he's talking to somebody else. Um, Huang Sin says, "Persons, do you think Octopath Travel will sell better than Xenoblade Chronicles Two within this year?" Uh, probably. Yeah, probably. Because it's it's a lot easier to play. It's a lot easier to play, and it's a lot more. It harkens back to the old school, where Xenoblade is a modern xenoblade is, is a real modern take on a variety of rpg genres or subgenres that confuses people a lot whereas um octopath is not it's traditional and classic um so i think octopath is going to uh sell more uh, but i do think that the torna dlc is going to get a big there's going to be a big sales bump when the torna dlc comes out because people are getting real hyped for that um Who's my favorite Akatsuki member? Um, Kisame. 
Um, Hokey Boshi Star. This person says, what do you think of Sonic Mania Plus? Are you getting it? I haven't got it yet, but I'll, I'll pick it up at some point. Oh, did they delist One Piece of Limited World right on the Wii U? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's digital only in some areas. I think it's physical in, like, Europe. I got a physical release. I'm not really sure. Um, any uh, Jazzy N says, any updates on the new emotes and merch? Uh, new emotes are coming. Uh, merch is coming. Uh, merch is coming. Mer new emotes and merch are coming. Just have to finalize a couple different things. Players, and th your thoughts on Anthem? I don't care. It's EA. Um, let's see here. Pizza Wolf says, players, since, uh, do you think there are a lot of RPGs on the 3DS? Because there were a lot, there were a lot, almost the entire library. And will Switch have the same amount? I think Switch will, yeah, eventually get the same amount of RPGs. Yeah, yeah, there'll, there'll be a lot. There's already a lot of RPGs on the Switch already. And we just got Ease 8. We just got Shining Resonance Refrain. We just got Octopath. I mean, that's three in like less than a month, you know, in about a month's time, you know. Le no, actually less than a month. We got three RPGs in less than a month. And then even dating back to earlier this year, we got stuff like uh, Lost Fear. Uh, we also got a Fallen Legion as well, so we we've been getting RPG. So yeah, I think there'll be there'll be about as much. I mean, the indie scene too is gonna bring over stuff. I mean, Cosmic Star Heroine that game's coming, um, and there's more, um, there's more. So so yeah, man, there's gonna be a lot. Um, um, yeah, Mr. Snappy Paws, like I said, I, dude, it's a rumor. I mean, I've already reported on the rumor, so I mean, I, I can't say that the rumor is true because I don't know. So, yo, what's up, Avidan? How's it how's it going, my dude, Avidan? Shout outs, my boy. What's up, dude? Um, I I disagree. I don't think there's really anything about Xenoblade Chronicles One that's better than Xenoblade Chronicles Two, story wise or anything. I like Pyra and Mithra more. I like I like the story more in Xenoblade Chronicles Two. But like I said, that's that's some people like Xenoblade Chronicles One story more. Some people like Xenoblade Chronicles Two. I I disagree. To me, the characters make the story as well. And Pyra, Mithra, Jin, Malos, all those guys are better than what Xenoblade Chronicles offers, in my opinion. In my opinion. Now. You guys are free. We can just agree to disagree on this one because it really is just opinion. But I think Pyra and Mithra kind of crap on everybody in in that in Xenoblade Chronicles one. But those are just my, but those are my waifus. So those are my waifus. I like Jin. I like Malos. Those those enemies are just so cool. They're just like a lot more cool than what you know. I don't. I think Shulk is better than Rex. I like Shulk more than I like Rex. Um, but 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 but. Um, uh, so, uh, Lost River was, uh, was not a good example. That game wasn't good. No, it is a good example because he said RPGs. He said, and it's, it's your opinion whether Lost Fear is a good game or not. He didn't say, he said, he said a lot of getting a lot of RPGs. It's your, it's opinion whether you think Lost Fear is good or not. There's people that love Lost Fear. So no, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's not a good example. It's an RPG that came to the Switch. So no, your personal opinion on that is that's, that's irrelevant to what the topic matter was. So no, man. <laughs> nice try to kind of correct me though nice try but you got to actually know what you're talking about though markel um and go back and look at what he told me he said he's gonna get a lot of rpgs there's a lot of okay rpg every, the, every single rpg on the 3ds isn't amazing everybody doesn't think every single rpg on the 3ds is amazing but it's still an rpg that's there for people to play and there's people that do like lost fear so my personal opinion wasn't part of it wasn't part of that wasn't part of it at all um I don't, you guys can sit here and tell me how many times you guys think Xenoblade Chronicles One story is better. I don't. I don't care. You guys can. You guys can have that opinion. My opinion is Xenoblade Chronicles Two is better. No matter. No amount of rhyme time can, 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 can you guys convince me of that? So if I were you guys, I would just move on. <laughs> if I were you, and move on. There's nothing that you guys can say that's going to convince me. So. So yeah. Uh, Dig Beam Center says, players, uh, do you think uh, the online service plan for Nintendo Switch will add uh, Encore mode to games like Super Mario Bros., Legend of Zelda, etc.? What's, what's an Encore mode? Um, Fiora is glaring at you right now. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's not it's not that markel it's not about challenging me it's about you didn't you didn't understand what the actual what i was responding to you didn't, it's not about challenging me it's about you didn't understand what what i well you didn't completely understand he didn't say is the switch going to get all these amazing all the amazing rpgs like the you know like the 3ds guy he just said is it going to get a lot of rpgs so then i just started naming rpgs that the system has got there are a, a broad range of questionable to okay rpgs on the 3ds you know um but there's still there's just a lot because it's subjective right 
all of it, even review scores, everything that goes into what makes an RPG good or not, it's all subjective. So the question wasn't talking about what I think about them good or not. It was just RPGs in general. So I just answered that. So when you told me, oh, well, it's not a good example. No, it is a good example because he simply was just talking about RPGs. He didn't he didn't ask for my personal slant on good or not, or he didn't emphasize that at all in, in the question to me. So <laughs> it's not like, I'm not trying to be not trying to be me. You just got to, you know, I was just making sure that you, everybody understood what the question was in the first place. Um, player since a uh, favorite song in Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI. Um, like the boss themes, all the boss themes in Final Fantasy VI are good. Chrono Trigger, uh, probably like um, like Isla Isla's theme, like uh, like Chrono, dude. It's hard to pick. They're they're all good. <laughs> Uh, they're all good. It's hard to pick. They're they're just all good, dude. I, I don't know. I like Isla. Like the is it like prime, uh, you know, medieval mountain or whatever prime prime mountain whatever it's called. Isla's theme. That one. <laughs> um, and uh, the Colonel's theme is good. Frog's theme is good. Lucas theme is good. Marley's theme or Princess Nadia, whatever you call her, is good. Um, yeah, they're all good, dude. <laughs> I don't know which one to pick. They're all good. Does OJ host three? Yes, Smash. What does that mean? Uh, Thank you. This is person's favorite Pokemon game. My favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Um, yeah, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Um, b -b 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 Any more questions, guys? What are we at? We're almost at an hour 30, so I can answer a couple more. And then I got to go to the gym. Player Essence, a Master Raven hack and slash or Afro Samurai fighting game. I'm not big into either one of those, so I don't know, dude. Did I miss any questions? Uh, guys, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. I'm not talking about. You're, you're sitting here still arguing about Xenoblade Chronicles Two. I'm not reading off your comments about Xenoblade Chronicles Two story compared to Xenoblade Chronicles One. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't care about you guys' opinions, but I've already done this a million times. I do not care if you think that Xenoblade Chronicles One is better than Xenoblade Chronicles Two. The story-wise, I don't care if you like if you're addicted to Shulk and Rhyme Time. I don't care. I, me, me, me. I personally like Xenoblade Chronicles Two characters more than Xenoblade Chronicles One. Me. It's okay if you like Xenoblade Chronicles 1 story more than 2. I personally feel Malos, Jin, what they do, Pyra, Mithra, the setup, everything that they did is better. Me, not saying that one is definitively better than the other one. Fact, me. So stop explaining your point. I'm not going to read off you guys' points. I don't care. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. It does not matter. So stop spamming them in the chat. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Um, let's see here. Mr. Snappy Paw says, player, since adding, um, adding to the online service, what are the chances we could get or we could play Super Mario Bros. on Switch with friends uh, with friends with online service anywhere with Wi-Fi and party chat? Um... Hmm, that's an interesting question. I don't know if I want to answer it. Um, let's see here. Uh, Degenerate Weeb says, uh, player, since how far off do you think Xenoblade 3 and Xenoblade 2 really are? You mean like the t like how far off is Xenoblade 3? Or, oh, sorry, Xenoblade X2. Okay, Xenoblade X2. Um, I, Dude, I have no idea. I think Xenoblade 3 will happen at some point, but I have no idea when it's going to happen. Uh, you're hyped to play. Mark Tell says, you're hyped to play Tales of Vesperia. Cool, man. Tales of Vesperia is my favorite uh, Tales of game. Jose Lopez says, what is, the wor what, what is worse off then? Force positivity or negativity for the sake of it? Um, I don't know if force positivity is actually a real thing. I think it's just something that, you know, that someone, that Ghost Robo was talking about. I don't know if it's actually a real thing out there outside of people's own opinion. So um, I think negativity is not good. It's video games. Um, but I don't think forced positivity is actually like a real thing with the Switch community or anything like that. I, th I just think that there are some people who realize the position that we're in and simply don't agree with somebody's opinion. So 
you know, they get, so that person gets mad and says, oh, well, now I have to be forced to be talking good or otherwise I, I get, you know, crapped on. It's like, no, you should say your opinion, you know, say your opinion. There's going to be a lot of people who don't agree with Wolfenstein and what I think, right? There's a lot of people who bought Wolfenstein that love Wolfenstein. I think it's a great game. There's going to be a lot of people who disagree with me. Heck, if, if this was more of a PS4 and Xbox One channel, dude, I think I'd have everybody yelling at me right now, you know? But you got to stick with your opinions. And if, if, if I constantly say negative things about something, there's going to be many, many people that come and say, try to say positive things, you know? So it, there's always a balance. There's a, there's a balance in life, guys. There's a balance. For every negative thing, there's usually a positive thing. For every negative thing, there's a positive thing, right? So for like, for example, Nintendo's online is not very good. Oh, but it's free or it's, or it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? There's balance in life. In anything that you do, there's always balance. For as many, for as many, for as every one racist person that there is that's horrible, there's probably like, 50 people that aren't racist that are very nice and don't care you know what i'm saying so there's a balance you know what i'm saying like there's always a balance um so i think like this whole forced positivity thing isn't necessarily real so whenever whenever somebody says something negative there'll be somebody who says something positive there'll be somebody because there, there's this is how it is you know what i'm saying like i could sit here and complain like man i'm not a millionaire right now negative right but on the positive side i can afford a house i have shelter I can eat, I have a fan base, you know, so, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm alive, there's a lot of, I mean, for every negative thing, there's a positive thing, so, it's just, it's just a balancing thing, dude, I don't think there's any real forced positivity, I don't think that, that crap is even real, um, Alonzo finds this person, who do you dislike more, Waluigi or Tingle, I dislike Tingle probably more than Waluigi, wait, did you say Waluigi, yeah, Walu yeah, I, I dislike, they're both stupid, but Tingle's quite possibly the dumbest thing that I've ever seen, um, Mr. Snappy Paws says, uh, FSN boys complain um, about the force positivity because because they want to to be top dog. And like I said, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip you. I'm, any comments on Xenoblade when you like if you tag me with it, I'm just gonna skip. So so and if you keep on tagging it, tag me with it. I might time you out. <laughs> if you keep on tagging it, but I I already said I don't want to talk about it. I already said that. So if you want to keep on tagging me and making me look at your comment because I'm looking at people who tag me. And I might, I might, might start timing out. Like I said, I'm, I'm done. I already. I, fair warning. <laughs> fair warning. Fair warning. I'm not talking about Xenoblade Chronicles One story compared to Xenoblade Chronicles Two. It does not matter. It does not matter at all. It is irrelevant. If you enjoy Xenoblade Chronicles One. Go play, go rhyme time five million times in a row. Rhyme time to your heart's content. If you think Xenoblade Chronicles 2 story is better, take this forever. You know what I'm saying? Take this forever. Take it forever. So there you go, guys. Um, what's my current game of the year so far? Um, Octopath Traveler. Octopath. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 talk. Get that. <laughs> Mod, mods, mods, take care of them. Take, take off the trash. Mods, mods, come on now, man. <laughs> mods, you know what to do. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another scrub, another scrub, another ultra platinum. I'm not playing them anymore. <laughs> mods, do your job. <laughs> if you don't watch low tier god that's who we're kind of we're, we're kind of having fun with too um yeah <laughs> epic steve says ltg <laughs> all these scrubs these scrub camis these scrub karens pressing buttons all the time oh <laughs> The best, the best live streamer of all, the most entertaining and best live streamer of all time, low tier guy. <laughs> the most entertaining live streamer that I've ever watched in my in my life, low tier guy. Um, G tab. <laughs> I remember, dude. Here's the funniest thing I watched. I mean, the other day, I was watching, I was watching low tier God stream. And he had a Tekken tournament. So he, he put together a Tekken tournament, right? <laughs> he made his own Tekken tournament. And he, he, <laughs> he said, all right, guys, we got, 
We got one million gold up for like up for grabs. Let's go. <laughs> this man said, oh, and then he got beat. He said, I don't like the way you guys are playing. <laughs> He's like, skip this. You ain't getting my gold. And he quit out of his own tournament. <laughs> He quit and shut down his own tournament. <laughs> oh my god! I was, I was dying. That was quite possibly the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. It was too good. It was, it was too, it was too good. It was too good. Oh man, it was too good. Too good. Um, he banned the whole tournament. Yeah, he did. He literally, <laughs> there was one guy, there was one guy that he fought and he didn't like the way that he played. He said, mods, ban that guy. He kicked the guy out from, from his tournament. That wasn't even the right dude. It was, it was a different guy. <laughs> he kicked the wrong guy out, dude. It's freaking hilarious, man. I'm freaking hilarious. Um... All right, guys. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. We got we got all the questions answered. We're gonna we're gonna do some raids, guys. We're gonna do some raids, and I'd also really enjoy or really enjoy. I'd really like it if you guys checked out my last video on Tingle. It's really short. I want people watching it. So if you want to see my last video on Tingle, uh, make sure you check that out. I'll put a link to that in the in here. So that the, the first link is on Tingle. Now the second link, we're gonna raid somebody. Um, who are we going to raid? Somebody said that, what's it called? Is, um, who's, uh, the yellow kazoo? Is she playing? Is she playing something? Um, okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll do something different today, guys. We'll do something different today. We are going to, we are going to raid, oh, uh, actually, no, my boy RX, RX Stream is playing. He was here earlier. He's playing some Mario Odyssey. So uh, my boy RX Stream is playing right now. So let's go ahead and we're going to raid him. I'm going to put that into the, the link here, guys. So check out my boy RX Stream. I just put the link for you guys. Check him out. The first link is my Tingle video. The second link is um, RX Stream. He's playing uh, Mario Odyssey. No damage with viewers. Uh, so shout outs, dude. Um, and uh, make sure you guys check out his channel. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Let him know that player essence sent you guys. Um, and yeah, yeah, let him know. Um, <laughs> you're asleep. Oh, you came at the end. Um, I don't see Yellow Kazoo. I don't see her. I don't see her streaming. So, so yeah, I, I don't see it on there. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna go hit the gym, and then we'll be back later tonight with an Octopath Traveler stream. So shout outs, shout outs there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Do appreciate it. And we'll see you guys for the next one. Bye bye.